the ecosystems in front of your eyes are disintegrating, losing the qualities that make them resilient and that make them functional. What I'm talking about is this process that we call forest disintegration. So for thousands of years, forests have had this somewhat ineffable quality of resilience. But now a lot of those processes that have manifested that resilience have been degraded and lost. I'm here giving a talk in Eastern Pennsylvania near Philadelphia. And I'm in a forest which is in the process of disintegrating. Behind me, you see where some trees have fallen, opening up this space in the canopy. And for thousands of years, what has happened when a tree dies is that new trees have regenerated. Not anymore. There are a bunch of different reasons for this, but the big two reasons where I'm standing are deer overpopulation and these introduced plant species. Deer are actually native species, but because of the extirpation of the predators and a few other things have become really overpopulated and their browsing is completely out of control. Now these introduced plants that are filling the understory behind me and displacing all of the native species that would normally regenerate here, we introduced. Forest disintegration doesn't happen all at once. These forests slip away from us little by little. And the next thing we know, a lot of the functions and the habitats that are associated with them, that we treasure, that make our lives beautiful, and that make our lives possible, go away. The opposite of forest disintegration is recovery. And when we facilitate that recovery, it's called restoration. And this is a real good news, bad news situation. The bad news is our forests are disintegrating in front of our eyes. And the good news is that we actually have tools to solve these problems. But then there's another piece of bad news, which is that these tools are confusing and counterintuitive. They involve doing things like killing deer. But if we're willing to make those sacrifices, we have the opportunity to help these forests rediscover their capacity for resilience and for life. Wouldn't that be worth it?